Merhaba, hoş geldiniz. Özlem from Özlem's Turkish Table. Today we'll be making a very easy four ingredient wholesome dish for you. Um, it's called bulgurlu aş. It's bulgur pilav with courgettes, onion and bulgur. And I will take you through the steps as we make this delicious dish. So I have diced onions here. And I also have here the courgette flesh. So this was the flesh I scooped out when we made the stuffed courgettes recipe that we took out the, the, the flesh of the courgette. If you may remember in my previous video, just gonna add the drizzle a bit more of olive oil. And if you may remember, I said, please save that flesh because it is fantastic to make bulgur pilaf and then also you won't be losing and you won't be wasting any ingredients in Antakya uh, bulgur cooked with vegetables called ash and it's a meal itself and these are the times that we really need to make the most of every ingredient we have it's a fantastic way of enjoying um, courgette onions and bulgur and you hear the sizzling noise and I'm just sort of sauteing a little bit so that onions started start softening out a little bit as well as the courgette and then I will add a small can of diced tomatoes so it's about 220 grams the smaller of the uh, tinned can. If you can't get hold of canned tomatoes, you could use diluted tomato paste with water or tomato puree. So that's nice to cook in there. It is so easy, you won't believe it. And, and here we have bulgur. So that's the coarse version of bulgur that you get in supermarkets. I just washed the bulgur and now I rinsed it. And now I'm going to add my bulgur to this mixture too. Compared to um, other staples like rice and pasta, it's much easier to find bulgur these days. So make the most of it. And it's a fantastic, fantastic whole grain packed with of fiber. So good for you. So I'm just mixing everything and in the meantime I will add my hot water. So I'm just gonna bring my hot water. So I used about 350 grams 350 grams of bulgur. Now I'm adding my water here. About 750 grams a uh, milliliter of water will go in there and you'll see bulgur will absorb that hot water and cook very very quickly let's do some seasoning add some ground black pepper we will add some sea salt. Seasoning is important. That's how we extract flavor. Let's give another mix. And make sure everything cooks well. And it will take, you know, roughly about 10 minutes or so, even less actually. Bulgur really absorbs water liquid very quickly and now I'll put the lid on and sort of medium heat and you will see very shortly that it will be cooked while it's cooking let me give you some more information about bulgur so this is bulgur from my local supermarket um, it's at the um, you know dried uh, dried food area um, Coarse bulgur is widely available in all supermarkets and it is a very southern Turkish stable. 
we make pilafs with that, uh, we add into salads, the final version of bulgur, which uh, actually you'll see the cover of my book. Um, you'll see uh, this is kusser bulgur with, with salad with pomegranate molasses and takias welcome salad. So the final version would go into into kusser, uh, but pilaf rices would make a fantastic main course. Here, as you see, we mixed it with courgette flesh that we scooped out from stuffed courgettes. If you're not making a stuffed courgette, you can still use courgette. You could just dice courgettes, uh, quarter and dice it in small pieces and saute with your onions rather than using the scooped out courgette flesh. I used um, green beans instead of courgette, it worked really well. Chopped green beans, peas would work really well, mushrooms would work really well, sauteed mushrooms with garlic. Um, you could make another lovely dish. Um, it's called bulgur and lentil pilaf with caramelized onions. Um, in, uh, in, in Turkish we call it mercimekli ash. Um, Southern Turkish cuisine has a lot of influence from Levantine cuisine um, and, uh, and its Middle Eastern version is called Mujaddara uh, which is generally made with rice then bulgur uh, but this is such a wholesome wonderful dish it's also vegan um, and so so good um, you cook bulgur with lentils we first um, cook lentils first and then add bulgur but while you just before you serve we saute thinly sliced onions as you see over the top and the caramelized onions will add so much flavor to your dish it makes it really really yummy what else we can use with bulgur oh i don't know if you ever made the bulgur um, bulgur balls um, oval bulgur was a walnut and minced ground meat we call it oruk and in um, in the Middle East it's called kibe it is really a lovely recipe from southern Turkey called oruk it is um, not the easiest but it's very rewarding if you decide to make it or you can make the tray bake version um, sinioru as we say it um, the recipe is at my cookery book Özlem's Turkish Table page uh, 231 as well as at my website özlemsturkishtable.com but let's go back to the bulgur and courgette pilaf bulgurlu kabaklı ash as we say in Turkish it's been cooking over 10 minutes bulgur doesn't take much at all uh, long to cook and now look all that moisture has been absorbed and uh, bulgur has been cooked it's you know it, this whole dish almost gets ready within 15 minutes so easy and you could see that lovely courgette tomatoes onions cooked together and now we will flavor with some lovely dried mint We'll add nice dried mint over the top. Dried mint really elevates the flavor and adds a lovely refreshing taste. A bit of pul biber, Turkish red pepper flakes, and a tiny little bit of garnish to make it a bit more pretty if you like. And a nice gentle squeeze of lemon juice if you like and put it like that. Try to imitate what I made in my cookery book. <laughs> and here it is, your yummy yummy easy and wholesome dish ready you can serve this lovely dish with um cucumber and uh, yogurt jajik dip um, as well as some nice refreshing salad of um, cucumbers uh, tomatoes spring onions parsley we call it choban salatası shepherd salad and it would make a wonderful wholesome meal to someone and easy to make too. I hope you enjoyed it. Afiyet olsun and thank you for joining us.